Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm bringing you part three of the Let's Talk About series. So firstly, I wanna say thank you guys so much for getting involved with this series. I wasn't sure if it was gonna take off or if any of you guys were gonna to want to participate, but thank you so much to every single person who has left a comment, giving me topics that you would like to talk about because I promise, slowly but surely, I'm getting around to each and every one of them. So don't worry, if you have left a suggestion for a topic, I honestly write all of my suggestions down so I promise I will not forget about you. So if you guys hadn't guessed already from the title, today's Let's Talk About video is about growing your confidence. And to be honest, I'm just gonna go through what I personally have found useful in growing my own confidence and helping to develop almost like a better opinion of myself. So I wanted to sit down and make a video about growing your confidence because even though I come across confident over the camera now, I can assure you guys I haven't always been like that. So I'm going to be honest with you guys, like I got picked on at school, like I'm not saying that I got bullied because I definitely didn't get like targeted over and over again throughout my whole time at school, like I definitely had a group of friends who would stick up for me if anyone was horrible and for me when I was at school it was just the fact that I always felt like like I felt so different like I had really frizzy curly hair I had really crooked teeth um, I had a big gap in between my teeth which made me feel very insecure at the time as well and at school like, I used to get people compare the way that I looked to a horse people used to neigh at me in the corridors at school because of it they used to pretend to gallop around me like and I'm sure that every single person watching this video can relate and think of a time when someone's pointed out one of our flaws or better yet someone actually points out something that you've never even noticed about yourself. Before school, I had never looked in the mirror and thought, do you know what? you look like a horse and even some comments that you get as a youtuber can really really take you by surprise sometimes you know people genuinely do try to point out things that you have never even noticed about yourself before and you end up reading it and you end up sitting there thinking like oh my god is that true but i'm here to talk to you angels today about what you guys can do to grow your own confidence and some steps that you can take towards learning and teaching yourself how to love yourself so the first tip that i have for you guys is always be kind i say this for loads and loads and loads of reasons one of the reasons being that being kind to other people will make you feel better about yourself you will begin to notice that you are making an active effort and succeeding in making other people happy by being kind to them and when you notice that you are beginning to make the people around you feel happier it will inevitably make you feel better about yourself it will give you a boost of confidence so to add to that i find being kind especially important when people are trying to bring you down in life you are going to experience so many negative people so many people who are going to criticize you but who says that because someone else treats you like that why does that mean that you have to sink to their level no not me if you can get to a point in your life of being confident that you are treating other people with kindness like to the best of your ability i promise you your confidence will start to soar oh my god guys i cannot express how important number two is like i need you guys to know how important it is to set personal boundaries and teach the people around you to respect them. Learn to say no to doing things that aren't gonna make you happy. Learn to say no to people who don't make you happy. This one really speaks to me because honestly, before I learned this, I honestly was such a people pleaser. Like I would put myself out for the sake of making someone happy. It's okay to set personal boundaries and it's even more okay to expect people to stick to them. And I genuinely think that this will really, really help you when it comes to growing your confidence because you're taking control back. You're taking control over your life. And you know, by setting limits for people, you send a clear message as to how you expect people to treat you. And if they don't respect that Bye, Felicia. if you're not comfortable with something or if you're not happy with something speak up 
use your voice and make it clear that you're not happy with it. People will soon stop pushing your boundaries if you make it clear that your boundaries can't be pushed. They're sturdy and they're staying there. And this will really, really help you to regain confidence and to feel more confident around people who maybe make you feel a little bit like you kind of have to do what they want to do. We all have those people in our lives, right? So number three is set small goals for yourself. This one is so important and so effective. Try to set achievable targets. Like that might sound stupid and it might sound obvious, but you're so much less likely to fail if you stay realistic with the goals that you're making. I've been guilty of it myself plenty of times and I know that at some point you would have been guilty of it too. Don't set goals that are too high. All that is ever gonna make you do is feel like a failure. Like you're literally setting yourself up to fail by overestimating estimating what you're capable of. But if you start to make an effort to set realistic goals for yourself, you will start to feel more of a success and it will grow your confidence in yourself. You'll be like, yeah, I can do this. Like I've got this. And by slowly doing that, by slowly increasing what the goals that you're setting are, then you will eventually be able to build yourself up to achieve bigger things. For me, for example, like I personally found it really difficult starting a YouTube channel with my illness and trying to stay consistent with making videos when I never knew when I was going to be well. On the days that I was well, I'd be like, oh my god, okay, because I didn't do any work last week and I didn't film any videos last week, I'm going to film four videos today and then I'm going to edit them all tonight. And I just kept on failing at it. Like, I kept on wondering why I wasn't getting anywhere. And it's because I was just aiming too high. Like, why was I trying to film four videos in a day? Like, when I took a couple steps back and had a look at what I was doing and started to kind of like be more realistic about what I was doing, on the days that I did manage to film two videos in a day, I was ending that day like, yes, I've got something done today, like I've smashed it. But instead, if you're aiming to do four videos in a day and you only end up filming two, you're not happy about the two that you've done. You're just pissed off about the two that you didn't do. Number four, look after yourself. This is so key. So, so key. I cannot even tell you. And it can sound stupid. Like, it can sound really silly. You will not believe how much of a difference it can make to your confidence when you're presented well. When you feel good. When you're clean. You're well looked after. You're well groomed. And if you feel that you look good and you feel that you are kept well, then it usually contributes to making you feel better about yourself. You know, to some people, feeling good about the way that you look or, you know, what outfit you're wearing or how you've done your hair, like, some people might just think, like, that is stupid. That is going to do nothing for my confidence. And that might be the case for you. Like, everyone is different. And I am by no means saying that all of these tips in this video are going to help you because they might not. They might not help you as much as they help someone else. But honestly, I can't tell you how many times I have forced myself to take care of myself and force myself to clean myself up, get myself together. You know, some days you can literally feel like the ugliest bitch to have ever walked the earth, like ever. But do you realize how like unfair that is? Like to sit there, not make any effort to make yourself feel good, to make yourself feel good about yourself, feel like you look good and then sit there and judge yourself. Honestly, you feel more capable of like absolutely anything. Like when you are dressed, when you're cleaned, when you're together, when you try and make an effort, even if you don't feel like it, just try and make an effort to get your shit together. You will literally feel more capable of doing anything. And this honestly doesn't just apply to how you look, like not at all. Like looking after yourself can be in so many different forms. Looking after yourself can mean, you know, taking some time out if you're stressed. Now, if you're stressed with work and you feel like it's all too much, like take some time out to calm down. That's looking after yourself. You can look after yourself by painting your nails your favorite color to cheer yourself up or cooking yourself your favorite meal for dinner. Those are all forms of self-care and looking after yourself. Even if you're thinking like, what the hell, Neil? What are you on about? Like, try and make some steps this week. Try and take just a few steps and aim to make yourself feel happier by looking after yourself. Self-care is so important. Say it louder for the people in the back. And the final tip that I've got for you guys is accept that it's gonna take some time to grow your confidence. Like, you are not gonna watch this video and come out of it feeling like the bad 
baddest bitch there ever was like it's just not gonna happen because it takes time but you can feel like that if you just keep on trying to grow your confidence keep on trying to push yourself i honestly know that it's not as easy as i can make it sound in this video like i don't want any of you guys sat here thinking like thanks nia thanks for your five tips on confidence it's really helped you know i'm not expecting this to change your life overnight you are a work in progress and confidence takes time to grow and develop and there's gonna be plenty of times when you fail at it like i still to this day am not as confident as i would like to be like i'm pretty confident but there's still plenty of situations where i feel more than uncomfortable so embarrassed like anyone that knows me knows that if i'm ever in an embarrassing situation my whole face just goes red the whole face the whole face goes red but just keep looking at yourself as a work in progress just because you're not a certain way now doesn't mean that you're never going to be that way so those are the tips that i put together for this video i really really hope that some of those tips can help you guys grow your confidence and help you to feel like a bad bitch like i really really hope that you guys can apply this to your life and please please let me know if it helps any of you in any way at all i would love to know and if you guys have any other tips that you have for any of my other angels then make sure that you leave it down below in the comments like i said i'm not an expert i'm not the most confident person there ever has been and ever will be there are definitely some things that i may have missed out in this video even though i have tried to cover all of the things that i felt were the most key points for me but guys, I really, really, truly hope that you did enjoy this video. Don't forget to keep leaving topics that you want to talk about down below in the comments. I promise I read them all and I note them all down. So don't ever think that I don't see your comments because even though I may not always be able to get back to you, I definitely see them all and I love you all so much for getting involved. If you guys haven't already, then make sure that you hit the subscribe button to become part of the family. I would love it so much for you to join us and become a regular over here. Also guys, if you're not already, then make sure that you're following all of my social media accounts so that you never miss out on any updates any posts anything like that from me so all of my details are on the screen for you now so you can go and add me follow me whatever thank you again angels for watching this video i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video